So I've got a question. How do I integrate the cos squared of x squared? Well, in my last video, we found out that the cos, the integral of cos of x squared has no closed form solution and it can't be integrated using the usual methods of integration, but we can express this integral as if I change the variables so that we can express it in terms of x, we can express this integral as a sum of an infinite series by integrating the Maclaurin series for cos of x squared. So it's written as the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the power of n times x to the power of n 4n plus 1 all over 2n factorial times 4n plus 1. And we can now use this expression to find the integral of cos squared of x squared. Now trigonometric identities are very powerful and can help us simplify this cos squared term here. So we know that uh, the cos squared of theta can be rewritten as a half outside of 1 plus cos 2 theta. So it follows that the cos squared of x squared is equal to a half outside of 1 plus cos of 2 times x squared and this then we can integrate uh, both sides so if we write the integral from 0 to t of cos squared of uh, x squared dx is equal to a half times the integral of 1 plus cos of 2x squared with respect to x and that's of course from 0 to t as well. Now what I don't like about this is this 2x squared term in here. I would rather have this in the form of say t squared and this is why this variable here is important because I'm going to uh, make a swap between them. So to make this swap of variables I'm going to let t squared is equal to 2x squared and that then implies that x is equal to a half sorry x squared is equal to a half of t squared which means then that x is equal to 1 on the square root of 2 times t and then dx is equal to 1 on root 2 dt and conversely this also means that t is equal to the square root of 2 times x so what I'll do now is to substitute this expression for t into here and also here and I'll substitute this expression for dx for this term and here and this then simplifies to t squared so let's make sense of that so on the left hand side I have the integral from 0 to t of cos squared x squared dx is equal to now the integral from 0 to the square root of x squared of cos squared of so x squared equals a half t squared so a half t squared times 1 on root 2 dt and this simplifies to 1 on root 2 outside of the integral from 0 to root 2x of cos squared of a half t squared dt 
So that's the left hand side and it's equal to the right hand side of a half of the integral from 0 to root 2x of 1 plus cos of t squared times 1 on root 2 dt. Actually this should be enclosed in brackets as well. So what I can then do is bring this out the front so we get 1 on 2 root 2 of the integral of 0 to root 2x of 1 plus cos of t squared dt. And I can rewrite this as two separate integrals. So it's 1 on 2 root 2 times the integral of root 2, 0 to root 2x of dt plus the integral from 0 to root 2x of cos t squared and dt. This first integral is very easy to evaluate. It simply uh, integrates to t and uh, bounded by root 2x at the top and 0 at the bottom. So it just equals root 2 of x. So if I write that down we'll have 1 on 2 root 2 outside of root 2x plus this part well we can uh, copy the expression from the very top so that's simply the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the power of n of t because we have the variable t to the power of 4n plus 1 all over 2n factorial times 4n plus 1 and that's bounded by root 2 x at the top and 0 at the bottom and uh, we've discussed before in my previous video that uh, the lower bound of 0 uh, is equal to 0 so it's uh, eliminated and we simply substitute this root 2x into t so our final answer should be 1 on root 2 so 1 on 2 root 2 outside of root 2x plus the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 times root 2x sorry negative 1 to the power of n times root 2x to the power of 4n plus 1 divided by 2n factorial times 4n plus 1. Wow, but uh, that is the explicit form of the integral of cos squared x squared. Now it's quite a handful so repeat and pause this video as necessary. I hope it has been of help and if it has, please give me a thumbs up. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. If you are currently studying math, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for future videos that may help you on exams or assignments. And as always, please feel free to ask me any question by commenting on any of the videos that you've seen. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've learned something.